Federal Member for Mallee, that is Dr. Anne Webster. Very good morning to you, Anne. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Matt Matt? Very well, thank you. And thank you for joining us on the show this morning. The effect of JobKeeper on local businesses here in the Mallee, uh, what can you tell us about that? Look, it's been uh, an incredible 18-month period for businesses and uh, the challenges have been enormous. So 5,271 businesses across Mallee benefited from this JobKeeper scheme. 20,188 Aussies from Mallee actually benefited from a $390 million investment into our community. So it's incredibly important and it meant that people kept their jobs. It meant that businesses could stay afloat. And I think we need to remember how um, rapidly this scheme needed to be rolled out in such uncertain times. So I'm just really proud of the scheme. And, you know, yes, there are always those who want to rot, but uh, fundamentally it was an incredible benefit yep. to the whole the electorate. You better believe it. Uh, great to be out of lockdown 7.0. Of course, still restrictions in play. A lot of businesses finding it difficult to open with only 10 people allowed inside. Uh, what are your yeah. thoughts on that? Uh, look, just the biggest load of nonsense I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, the fact of the matter is that we had health advice that said four square metres was safe. Now we're down to 10, even if a venue can take 400. It's just nonsense. And, you know, people are just tired of the nonsense. We want, we're we all ready, as I've said before, to be compliant and reasonable. But this kind of um, measure, it's just got to stop. It certainly does. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have some good news on Sunday, maybe, and uh, maybe yeah. some further easing of restrictions. The other thing, well, on a positive note, uh, vaccine rates here in the Mallee have been absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, look, they have. Across Mallee, we're 71.5% first dose and 44% second dose. Uh, we have sections of the Mallee electorate, such as the Bull Oak Shire, that have hit 82.12% first dose and 58.34% second dose. I mean, that's extraordinary. Mildura, yes, it is a little behind and uh, we're working very hard in Mildura across GPs, pharmacies and the state health hubs, of course, to get those vaccination rates. So I just urge and encourage anyone to walk into a pharmacy. They will see you and uh, you can get a vaccination. I will bet you today. Yeah, terrific stuff. Great to catch up with you, uh, Anne. Thank you so much for your time this morning, and we'll catch up in the next couple of weeks. You are very welcome. Good on you. Thanks, Batman. Federal member for Mallee, Anne Webster.